We begin tonight with new developments in our big story, teen violence in parts of the East Valley. And we're asking whether any of it is connected to the Gilbert Goons, a group Gilbert police confirm they have been made aware of. They're now reviewing videos on social media showing violent attacks involving teenagers. ABC 15's Ashley Holden and Nicole Grigg working together tonight to bring you an update and a warning. Some of what you're about to see in this story is intense. The Gilbert Goons is a term Gilbert police say they just recently learned of, and they say they have not connected the group to any crimes. But it's a name we've heard of for weeks. The ABC 15 investigators found Gilbert police have known about teen violence in their backyard for months and have said that incidents are escalating in frequency and severity. <laughs> These are videos Gilbert police admit to ABC 15 are now a part of their investigations into violent assaults on teens. Let me get back into action. Hold on. This video in particular is also a part of the police department's investigation into attacks that have been taking place outside and in and out where court records and parents say multiple assaults have happened at this Gilbert location. We're blurring faces because they're underage. It calls me in hysterics. Said, Dad, I got jumped. Dad, I got jumped. Rick Keener, a dad whose son is a victim to violence in Gilbert, says his son was assaulted August 18th at that same in and out, but no video of that attack. This is the photo of his son who says a group of teens beat him up. I called the police immediately. They showed up. And uh, he had, was explaining he got jumped by 10 kids. Rick says it's unclear if it was the Gilbert goons, but his son has told him about the group. So far, no arrests. Gilbert police releasing a statement Thursday saying they don't have police reports from victims or suspects associating or connecting the Gilbert goons to any alleged reported criminal activity. But a day after that statement, they say they are now actively reviewing a assault cases to see if there's any correlation to past investigations. Here's ABC 15's Ashley Holden, who has been talking to parents who have been speaking out against this group. Gilbert police confirmed this video is also a part of their investigations. It shows a number of teens in handcuffs standing in a line next to Gilbert officers. It's videos like these and multiple violent attacks in the East Valley that are concerning to parents like Katie McPherson. Explain the fear. I mean, it's a very real fear that parents are feeling here in the East Valley because of this group. Yeah, my children are not allowed to go anywhere right now. That group, the Gilbert Goons, and it's not just McPherson who feels this way. This mom we spoke with at a recent Queen Creek Town Council meeting asking for us not to share her face. A lot of people are afraid to come forward. We are absolutely terrified that this group will target another child possibly one of our own, and we don't want to live in fear. Parents have been telling ABC 15 about the group since late October, but McPherson says she's known about the group for much longer. When did you learn about the group, the Gilbert Goons? December of 2022, when one of my good friend's sons was attacked at in and out Burger. I tried to take these parent concerns to the Gilbert Police Chief Thursday, waiting for hours at the department, but I was told the chief didn't have time. Less than a day later, the police department creating an entire web page addressing teen violence and the Gilbert Goons. McPherson hoping for more, but saying the communication is encouraging. What would you as a parent want to see from them? I think really um, with direct empathy, communicating that we understand how afraid you are. And so we are going to do X, Y, and Z. And I would encourage them to dig as deep as they can and have direct articulation with other municipalities that maybe just didn't connect the dots either. This isn't just a Gilbert problem. Nicole Grigg picking up the story from here. As for the teen violence in the East Valley, the ABC 15 investigators uncovering at least four other attacks. Court records show a 16-year-old attacked a teen at random using brass knuckles. That mother would not go on camera, but described it as a gang of boys with almost a dozen kids attacking her son. In Rick's case, he sent his son out of the country out of fear. We had to pull him out of the school. They couldn't guarantee he was still getting threats. 
from kids he doesn't even know. Court records also show another violent attack in Gilbert. Back in May, the victim in this case was only 14. Documents say the kid was walking on a canal path when four subjects were seen beating him. Police writing in that report about violence in the Gilbert area, saying the incidents are escalating in frequency and severity. As for the assaults happening at in and out Gilbert police do say there has been an increase of incidents of assaults involving juveniles. However, they say each incident has involved different individuals. Also in the East Valley, Queen Creek police say they're aware of the Gilbert goons, but have declined our interviews into the group. I'm investigator Nicole Grigg, ABC 15, Arizona. An important story affecting so many families. We'll stay on that. Ashley, Nicole, thank you.